Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some four color command here in standard. We'll be playing this in Mythic, uh, playing five matches with it, hoping to go 3-2 or better if we can. Yeah, if we add Wander, then Command to Dreadhorde doesn't do any damage, correct. But overall, Wander is just kind of a weak card, and I don't think we really need it, basically, in the deck. Um, but the reason... All right, so what our deck is doing. So it's called Four Color Command because it, this is a Command to the Dreadhorde deck. Uh, this is kind of like the new Four Color Rally. If you played during Battle for Zendikar and Khans Tarkir standard. That was one of the best decks in the format, probably just the best deck in that format, uh, that was based around Rally the Ancestors and returning a whole bunch of creatures back from your graveyard into play. This is has the same kind of feel to it with Command the Dreadhorde being our, our piece that returns not only creatures, but also Planeswalkers back from the graveyard into play. So this is kind of like a... This is basically like the new Sultai midrange almost, like with this format, where uh, Sultai last format went over the top of everybody with Hostage Taker and and um, Hydrocrasis. Like, Hydrocrasis in particular was, like, their card to go over the top. But nowadays, there's just, there's a lot of, like, pretty good Planeswalkers, and the gods are around, and, like, Hostage Taking the gods doesn't really work too too well, um, and a lot of good removal for Hydrocrasis and everything, and the Planeswalkers continue to get value every turn, and so really going over the top of people, you want to have like these Planeswalkers that are really good, like Teferi and Tamiyo, and then and then Command the Dreadhorde is like the spell now um, that can go way over the top. Uh, if you remember in Four Color Rally days, that it, it like kind of had blue for like mostly for like Reflector Mage in it, and like we have white mostly for new Reflector Mage. Uh, Teferi Time Raveler. This is like our card that that we just want to that just helps us buy time um, for Command the Dread Horde, and it's a good card to get back with Command the Dread Horde also, because with it only being a three mana uh, Planeswalker here, uh, Tamio is kind of the card that just makes the whole deck uh, fit together. You get get to just fill your graveyard up really fast with the plus one. Uh, you can go find Wild Growth Walker or Explore Creatures, depending on what you need, because you need a lot of life. So Tamiyo is like your your search card to help you go go find the Wild Growth Walker or find Explore Creatures if you have Wild Growth Walker. Or if you already have Wild Growth Walker and Explore Creatures, then you go find Command the Dread Horde with it, and it can return anything. Golgari Queen is just really solid these days with all the Teferi Time Ravelers that are being played, because Golgari Queen can kill Time Ravelers with the Minus ability. So it's just really solid with that. Teferi, of course, is... Just awesome. Both these Teferis are. And Chupacabra is something that, that I have in this deck that I'm putting in. Um, other people play Masker Girl. But I've been playing it with Masker Girl. I just haven't liked that card too much. And it's it's just been real slow and hasn't been super impactful. I, I um, haven't liked it too much. So I'm trying out Chupacabra instead. Because uh, I think Chupacabra goes really well with all these Planeswalkers. Because you play Chupacabra on four to kill a threat and then also sit back and block and you just chump block with whatever for whatever planeswalker so like if you if you get kind of lucky with the mana you get to go like teferi on three or or just whatever the turns don't matter but you like play a teferi you bounce like whatever creature they replay the creature then you chupacabra it and then you have the chupacabra to to block for your planeswalkers um i think chupacabra works really well with tamio of you know, being able to kill a threat and then uh, chump block for Tamio, and then you minus Tamio to bring back your Chupacabra, play your Chupacabra again, and so on. I think it works a little better than Hostage Taker because Hostage Taker is a little slower, and uh, and you know, Hostage Taker is not as great these days. Even with everybody playing Teferi, how if you you take their their thing and recast it, then they just Teferi bounce it back and stuff like that. But yeah, that's our deck. We're just trying to stay alive. Bond of Flourishing is one of the weaker cards in the deck but it does it does its thing it gains life it helps you find like these planeswalkers uh and especially tamio which tamio then kind of turns on your deck um help bond of flourishing helps your mana work because it it helps kind of dig towards like whatever source color source you need sideboard i'm i'm trying some finale of eternities against other mid-range and aggro decks um as this a lot of people playing like ritual of soot which i haven't liked very much in like the wild growth walker deck but finale is like one-sided. You know, if you look at like four or five mana, you can destroy things with like two or three toughness. And 
and in like the really late games like these kind of wild growth walker mirrors that go really late you could have like x is 10 and bring everything back from your graveyard maybe could happen um but yeah so we got i got the one masker girl on the sideboard for like mono white in particular and a cry i'm trying to cry the carnarium mostly because of um cry the carnarium mostly because of uh arc light phoenix um Arc, yeah, with Arclight Phoenix being a little bit of a problem, I, I want to cry the Carnarium, at least one in there for Arclight Phoenix. Yeah, I would say Paradise Druid is better than Druid of the Cowl in Mono Green. I guess if you're just in Mono Green, I guess it depends if you are aggressive with Mono Green or, or defensive. Like if you want that, if you want your one, like basically if you want that thing to be able to block, because Druid of the Cowl is a good blocker. So if you if you want a blocker, for your two drop like if you want something against aggro but if you if you want to be a really aggressive then then paradise druid's better all right i'm in there so we'll be playing five matches with the deck. That's what I do with these these ranked ones. You can see we went four, one, and two, three earlier. Anytime we go three, two, that's good. You know, so we're just trying to go three, two each time. Hey, welcome back, Yud. We're doing good. I did lose twice, like with Slesnia Arcbow. We went two, three, and I went oh two against oh two against Mono Red, and that was sad. I guess I need both the Woodland Cemeteries in play to cast a Jade Light Ranger if we get lucky to... to um, draw it. Mm, I kind of want to just take this Tamiyo. But Branchy... We can play Branchy this turn, but if we play Branchy, then we may not be able to play Teferi next turn. I gotta, I gotta take Branchy. Mm. I may not have anything to play next turn if I don't keep this. But still. I think they have Frilled Mystic. This is possible. I know my response. No time for a break. I had a long day, Kurtash. I didn't, like, I, we just, we top decked to the untapped land. I didn't have an untapped land for Teferi the next turn. Like, going into that turn, I didn't have Teferi automatically. Draw some spells. Hey, it's a spell. Makes me a little sad for blocking with the Wild Growth Walker and not just... Oh, wow. And not just jumping, but oh well.
Yes, I would like that Tamiyo, please. Thank you. <laughs> That's okay. That's all right, Kurtash. You you did have time for the daily missions. So that's good, and just relax now in, in bed and watch the stream until until you go to sleep and everything. I'm sure, it's still a good day. All right, so this. Does seem like a finale of Eternity match, and maybe a Massacre Girl one as well. I don't think I really want Cry the Carnarium, though. Cast down? Hmm. Like, big Hydroid Crisis I need to be worried about a little bit. Oketra. What am I taking out if I'm putting in these three? Am I just like trimming some Bond of Flourishings? And a Tamiyo. Yeah. Yeah, it's reasonable. All right. Hey, CEO. All right, we got good mana. Yeah, I could see taking out Lil Teferi. The thing about Lil Teferi is it does, if we, if we're able to like resolve it, it does keep my opponent from playing the instant speed game, which which they want to. I do like that about Lil Teferi. And it's still just like bouncing like an adapted, whatever, is just fine. Hey, Trog, welcome. Right on schedule. Thanks, Trog. The old turn two branch walker, turn That's three to like fairy, it. turn four ravenous chupacabra curve that we just easily hit. July. Nothing. Rawr, rawr, rawr. <clears throat> Chupa is also a good combo with Teferi if you want to like pick up your Chupacabra kind of thing. Hmm. Man, we are getting really lucky. Let's try this. Oh, thank you so much, Trog. I really appreciate that. <laughs> it's my life. Would you like to see what's left? Don't you song? forget. <laughs> Wait. You think nature is kind? All right. So there's the Gato Ketra back, likely. I don't really know exactly why. By the way, instant speed command the Dreadhorde is kind of messed up. I don't know exactly. Like, our opponent can't play instant speed because of the Teferi, so I don't really know why they didn't just play this Land War Elf. Or, like, you know, something else. Like, what's Let's the point of not playing the Land War Elf? I don't. I don't know. I am Tamiyo. I it am Tamiyo. And fine. I guess I want Hero Dominaria. Hmm, three lands. Don't worry, I got this. All right, so we have two bounce spells. 
Oh, right, that's why they didn't play the Llanowar Elf, right? Because they wanted the Oketra combo. But that's still... Heck, we got a bunch of bounce spells. Trust me, I have a plan. We're just gonna bounce everything. So I could I could play the Teferi and sack this Teferi and bounce another thing, and then I could Tamio minus and get the Teferi back from my graveyard and bounce the other thing. So we had triple reflector mage there that turn. This deck just goes over the top of the other mid-range decks, but I did uh, have a really good hand there. <laughs> uh, I I am Dex, but it looks like that's going to be on hold. I don't think I'll be able to move back as early as I was hoping for. I need lands. I need Wild Growth Walker. Commands the over-the-top card that helps you win the late game. It makes the deck like the best late game deck in the in the format. Yeah, I'll keep. Hopefully, we draw land or explore creature. We have 26 lands, so that means like the other 23 lands are good draws, plus the eight explore creatures are now really good draws. So we have like 31, 31 real good draws, um, plus like the four bonds of flourishings are just fine too. So it's like 35 out of our 53 are good draws. Yes, over the top means it wins the late game. Yes. Branch Walker. So they took the Tamio, which is not so bad for me because I don't I don't have blue mana at all. Like the Golgari Queen, I would be able to play if we draw the land for it. Doesn't look like there's a lot of things for me to be doing with this Golgari Queen, though. I'll just, I'll just tick up. I don't really want to sacrifice the Branch Walker right now. I can later. Um, if I, Especially if I think I'm going to be able to command. I'd like, it's like sacrificing the Branch Walker is perfectly fine. Bell haunt. Wah, wah. Hmm. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Um. I guess. I don't really want to bounce Bell Hunt. But I think that just what Teferi does of like keeping my opponent from casting into speed stuff and all that kind of things is good. Yeah, Trog, this deck's pretty new, but this deck's kind of taken over. Yeah, I guess I could have just played the harbor to get that out of my hand if they have another bell hunt. I just went with the temple garden because because it's not a shock land kind of thing. But yeah, that that does make sense. Of uh, you'll pay for that. if they have another bell hunt, I'll feel really bad. Uh, 
Aha. And the other thing was they knew about the temple garden. But yeah, I could have got punished there for sure. Sorry, I'm late. Here we go. Everyone is expendable. So if they're trying to like attack the Teferi and mess around with the Teferi, we'll just be killing them with the Jade Light and Branch Walker. Oh no. No. Oh, I was getting away. That was a good turn for them. Bad turn for me. Enough. Yeah, that's that was bad for me. Well, let's just attack and just kind of see what happens here. No, no, this this is the deck that we're playing. They're talking about this deck right here. That I'm playing right now. I've got time. Honestly, surprised that Thieva Sandy blocked there. I am not going to sit this one out. Reverse. Hmm. A little surprised by our opponent's lines here. I am not going to sit this one out. Really hope I draw a land. No, I am not making this up as I go. Dang. I want to just kill this Teferi. You know, if we drew a land, we could have been able to play the land. So our Teferi will die to the Deputy. But we get we get their Teferi out of here. Yeah, Grixis Diviner is already up on YouTube. Wow. Why do they not kill this Teferi with that? Huh. Trust me, you'll thank me later. This might be a bad idea. So many of these Teferis. Alive. Still alive. I know my responsibility. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, the Diviner deck was pretty fun. I, I liked it. I want to play that one again. Um, yeah... I, I liked it quite a bit. I, I liked it more than like the Grixis control decks that I had been pl playing recently. Yes, Wanderer is a combo with Command the Dread Horde, but just the amount of games that you would have like Wander and play and then Command the Dread Horde is just not a ton. It's not like you don't also you also just don't need it. Like Command the Dread Horde, you just don't really need it, basically. Hmm. Double blocking. They haven't really played like they have instant speed removal. All right, that's a good trade for us. Quite good. Now we get to just kill this deputy. Don't flatter yourself. I'll protect you.
So basically, you just don't need Wanderer. Um, Soren is a card that I kind of want. Soren can bring back like these creatures and everything, give your creatures life link to gain some more life. But I, I didn't, you know, decided I couldn't really fit it in. I, was, I think I wanted the. It seems fortune favors you. <clears throat> um, I've got it. I think I wanted the chupacabras more than Soren. Hey, Storm, welcome back. Gideon's sacrifice. No, you just you don't need to to play subpar cards. The deck's just filled with good cards, basically. I'll protect you. Just not necessary. No, I did not play against a command deck with the Diviner deck. I did play against the command deck with Arcbow, and that's a that's a real bad matchup for Arcbow. We can't handle how they go so far over the top. No, I am not making this up as I go. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. I'm known for my excellent timing. I guess I could have just done this first. No, because I want to take up. Let's try this. Last time I minus, I want to take up this time. So if they play deputy and get rid of Raska, then we would bounce the deputy and so on. <laughs> that was just a that's a really weird game. That's kind of a waste of a game. But so like this is this is a hero. Thieves Handy deck, like I, I feel like I should play Cry of the Carnarium. Definitely want Massacre Girl. Um, Finale of Eternity, not bad. Hmm. I mean, last time I brought these in and I took out one Tamiyo to Bond of Flourishing. It worked out pretty well. Maybe I cut one Lil Teferi and play a cast down also. Let's do that. I guess I could I could play Harpooner over Cast Down. Yeah, maybe Harpooner would be better there. Because it is it is Thief that I'm kind of worried about a tad bit. Should I get boiled crawfish, chicken wings, or chicken and waffles? Chicken and waffles. Everybody else had wings or crawfish. I'm going waffles. Waffle falafels. Perfect. Perfect card. Honestly, I maybe should just be playing Bond of Flourishing for a land here. But I like waiting on Bond of Flourishing as long as possible. So that we have like more information about it. Um, so you have, like more information about like the land you want, all that kind of stuff. This might be a bad idea. And yeah, see, we we just drew two lands, so like we don't need a bond of flourishing for a land anymore. We got five lands. I don't think that they were planning on. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I don't think they were planning on this. Oh, 
finally, because everyone is expendable. Chicken and falafel. Except me. What if I just sack this wild growth walker? Eh, maybe next turn. That's unfortunate for our opponent. They're probably sitting on like thieves. Now, obviously, thief isn't going to do anything. Don't Elder now, spell. Right, we meet again. Okay, well that's, that's a little rude. Oh no! I came to play tapped. I didn't even look. Ah, uh, I messed up. No, Teferi. That's all right. We put two more lands at the bottom. So good there. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's gone through nine lands so far. I did not You're gonna put hero back fight, into play. But I will finish it. Accept the darkness within. That's a good play. Let's. We need to move quickly. So tucking, tucking Soren just doesn't really do a whole lot. If I go, for, if I go Vraska, kill Hero, they get to Soren, tick up, and deal the extra point of damage and kill the Golgari Queen. So Golgari Queen kill Hero, they just kill Golgari Queen, and that's not that's not a great trade for me. I think I just want to look for more cards, basically, get the card advantage going. Look for a command the dread horde. Time for plan B. As soon as I think of one. Straw. It's not bad. All right, what order? Do I go Jade Light, then draw, then bond. Bond first, and then I guess draw first, then bond. Let's skip to the good part. Try to set up the command the dread horde for the next turn. All right, hopefully they don't have a counter spell. This isn't a fight you can win. Here we go. Kind of looks like they have a Dovin's veto, doesn't it? Okay, no. I won't let you win. <laughs> Time for a drink. We will meet again. Two. All right, so that's two, five, nine, 13, 16, 21 life. Get everything Let's back. Gain a whole bunch of life. We're gonna kill the, I'm just gonna kill the hero, even though they can just minus two and grab hero back. Graveyard. Um, do 
Do I want Masker Girl? Yeah, I'll take Masker Girl. Okay, so uh, you kill Little Teferi. This is part of my worst defeat. Consider it done. You draw a card. You know what? I'm not done yet. You bounce my Chupacabra draw a card. Don't worry, I got this. All right, untap. Man, command the Dread Horde. It's pretty insane. Pretty insane. That's what I was saying, how it goes over the top. Like, our opponent was, like, had all that stuff. They were, like, ahead. And now look at the battlefield. And our hand and everything. We have all these cards. Yeah, Command the Dead Horde is pretty insane. Now that we have Little Teferi, if we find another one, we can have, like... Instant speed. I won't forgive this. What a mess I've Command. Made. Yeah, they they had an elder spell earlier. They killed killed a couple planeswalkers with an elder spell earlier. If you show remorse, that would have been an, another good one. Straight. I'm not ready for this quite yet. So if I play Masker Girl, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it does kill everything. It does kill my Wild Growth Walker too. I've got time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. Exactly how I want my opponent to block. Absolutely perfect. Lame. All right, I'm going to take the Bell Haunt, the Hero. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, seventeen. I was hoping they were going to minus the Soren. Let's go library on all these. Make them discard. They had to discard Mortify because they can't instant speed anything. <laughs> oh, that is ridiculous, Hawkeye. That is ridiculous. You get Planeswalkers too? Oh, that is crazy. All right, two zero. You just get every creature and planeswalker from both sides, from both graveyards into play, instant speed. 
How is that fair? It's not. It's not fair. I'm rolling for you. Oh, this hand looks kind of ugly. The old temp Temple Garden Colorless Land hand. Ugl just ugly enough to keep. Oh no, don't draw that. No, not that either. I want to draw any of the other 24 lands, the four Wild Growth Walkers, the four um, Bonds of Flourishing. There's 32 other cards I want to be drawing. And I was hoping to draw like two out of three. I was hoping to get lucky, but maybe one out of three with those. Yeah, okay, cool. You're from the, the Quad Cities? Yeah. Yeah, I was born in Iowa. That's so is Hawkeye. He's from he's from Iowa. That's why he's named Hawkeye after the Iowa Hawkeyes. All right. Well, greedy keep, which I would I would never kept that on the play, but greedy keep on the draw. Not work out. <laughs> All right. So they are a Phoenix deck. Let me get this Cry of the Carnarium in here. Um. I want these duresses after sideboard. Do I want Finale of Eternity? Harpooner, yeah. Is Finale of Eternity going to be good against? I feel like Massacre Girl can be okay. Maybe not. Give me this Contempt. Cast Downs, maybe like two of the Cast Downs. All right, I think I want to take out Golgari Queen. I'm trim one Tamio, trim one command. Maybe not trim a command. Card's kind of busted. I'm gonna just take out Bond of Flourishing. It does help me gain life though. Just turn it into a, a green black deck. Oh, wait. You're busted against Phoenix. You get in the deck. All right, you can go. I'll take out one command and take out these other flourishings. Let's try this. Hey, what's up, Gatsby? Riot Vale, hey, what's up? Doing good. Had a had a good day so far. Grixis Diviner was pretty sweet. And Selesnya Arcbow played pretty well. I just I lost two matches to Mono Red, but definitely take two one in the other three. Oh, I didn't want to play Harpooner this turn. I meant to play the Goblet Shrine. Whoops. Hey, what's up, Sea Wookies? Yeah, so the R over here stands for ranked. It's like if we play them in ranked. Great Jade Light. So I thought the Jade Light's gonna die to a burn spell anyway. <coughs> That's a good Jade Light, Hawkeye. Okay. What do I want a Tamio tick up for? Hmm. The moon looks intriguing. 
<laughs> Let me aid your research. Wild Growth Walker. Duress, Contempt. There's only one Contempt. That's a lot of good spells to have in the graveyard. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to get your harpooner. You gotta turn on your undergrowth. There you go. You gotta turn on your undergrowth the hard way. I don't know. Maybe that's the easy way. Has a lot of cards in hand. Hasn't really done anything yet. Spinning their wheels. Ooh, there's the first Phoenix. Is it another Phoenix? I don't really mind Tamio dying. Yeah, it's gonna be a great cry of the Carnarium. All stories must end. Unfortunately, our J-Light's going to get exiled. So Teferi does shut down Finale of Promise. I think I'm still going to take it, though. Because I'm not really planning on playing Teferi right away. I guess I can. Yeah, I guess I can. And so that's exactly why I have... <clears throat> hey, Zephyrs! Getting that gifted sub from Santa Jelly. Yeah, so I can go Teferi Harpooner here. I mean Harpooner then Wild Growth then Branch Walker is like my best play. But I don't I don't want this finale of promise to do anything. If you show remorse, I'll show the strength. That's more like it. So I'm 14 on the day. Yeah, instant speed. Like, Teferi makes this command so good, too. So it's four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right, I'm not. I'm not getting this crackling Drake. I don't want to take that much damage. Oh, I guess they can't. Right, they can't. They can't cast instant, so they couldn't. They couldn't like instant speed burn, burn spell me before I gain six life. But oh well. I think we're okay. Now Tefer or Tamio can minus and grab the command the dread horde back. I 
Yeah, and the finale, of course, ca like the other two spells you cast with finale are not, like those are instant speed, right? Like they're not sorcery speed, so the Teferi shuts down this finale. I think I brought in Masker Girl, right? Trust me, I have a plan. To the library. <laughs> oh, this deck is gross. It's gross, I tell you. Gross. Zephyrs, you look amazing with the tie. Absolutely. All right, did not put in Masker Girl. Let's get that in, especially seeing the seeing the Sahili. Um, what am I taking out, though, then? One of these two cast downs? The Teferi? I'm taking out the Teferi, I guess. I'll just play this other cast down over this other Teferi, also. So the thing that girl does is kills all the tokens like the Sahili. Like Sahili can can be a problem. And they may have murmuring mystic also. Sahili murmuring mystic can be a problem. No, I got I got the list from online, but then I I've changed up like sideboard for cards I want and and a little bit with the main deck, but it um, the list is online, though. Down, down, down. And if they do have, like, a bunch of Arclight Phoenixes, like, maybe Masker Girl can, like, just take them down, and, you know, you never know. Like, maybe they can't get them back for the next turn because they have too many, like, counter spells and reactive stuff, and maybe we command the Dreadhorde their Phoenixes. I don't know. I don't really want to draw Masker Girl. It's just kind of in here because I have, like, see, I, I don't know. I'm a little worried about like Sahili Murmuring Mystic combo. Like you have, you have your Sahili cop, like copy the Murmuring Mystic with like one of the artifacts, and then every spell you cast, they get like three creatures, and it's it's really annoying. And I don't know. I'm just kind of worried about that combo. Maybe more worried than I should be. I got removal for the Electromancer, but I don't have untapped mana. I really want to draw that the the whatever the whatever the colorless land is that gains life. What's that card called? Interplanar Beacon. That's the card I want to draw. Gross. Hey subhuman. Wow. This has got to be a land here. Land. Yeah. Twenty six in the deck plus the explore creatures. It's usually not super hard to keep hitting land drops. I'm really glad my opponent's just 
using all these ops right now when Phoenix can't come back. They must have a bunch of other cheap spells. But that does make it harder. Huh. You must be accompanied by a parent or guardian. That does make it harder for like, you know, they have they get the Phoenix back the first time, but then the second time. Lucky shot. Yeah, this is this is basically a Sultai deck that just has white for the two Teferis. Uh, I think there's six white white lands plus the four Interplanar Beacons, so there's there's ten total white lands, and the only white cards are the two Teferis. Basically, just splashing them. This being the new Reflector Mage, just so good, you gotta splash it. And the other Teferi is like the new. Uh, I was, you know, thinking about four color rally. I was gonna say Jace Friend's prodigy, but I guess this is kind of Jace Friend's prodigy, returning the stuff back to your hand. I guess Tamiya is the new Jace Friend's prodigy. Was unpleasant. So then they had counter magic. Like, I'm pretty sure they just have disdainful stroke. I kind of want to just keep up. I just want to play the wild growth walker and keep cast down here. If they, like, it's it's basically what else would they have besides like disdainful strokes? Like that they they're not using removal on my creatures. There's basically nothing else for them to have. Just like counter magic. So I didn't really want to just play the Tamiyo. So, like, they probably have like creatures, counters, maybe more planeswalkers, something like that. I don't know what they got. Spyglass. That's a little annoying. I was not expecting a spyglass whatsoever. No, I don't think my opponent's playing sweepers, as far as I know. I have some sweepers. No, my Tamio. Tamio, no. So they already ticked up Ral. There's that thing. Ow. Did they discard another Phoenix? Gross. Can we draw a white source next turn? Or Cry of the Carnarium. I'll take Cry of the Carnarium also. I'm just playing this because he uses my mana so much better. I think Ego will be a popular sideboard card for Command the Dreadhorde. I, 
feel like the the deck can still win without command the dread horde with all don't the planeswalkers and rain on your parade explore creatures and stuff right uh spyglass is named tamio But yeah, if I draw a white source, I can I can bounce Spyglass. True. My creations are things of beauty. Please don't have like three spells. Just have like some creatures. Don't don't bring back the. No. Don't bring back those phoenixes again. Pass turn. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, how about that? Um, I can bounce this 1-1. One, one. Let's just see what happens here. You just ha probably have negates and that kind of stuff, though, right? Yeah. Oh, I guess I should have attacked first. Dang it. Okay, well, Stop. made the same blocks I would have thought they would have made. I need to iterate. All right, so they're definitely just chilling over there with their like counter magic, the ready to go. Attack. feel like throwing my Command the Dreadhorde out into a counter spell. I'm just going to attack him. Instead. Ugh. Next turn I'll be playing like Command if we don't, you know, if I have nothing else to do, I'll be playing Command. Yeah, Niv Mizzet. <laughs> if they would have had Niv Mizzet, that'd be bad. That I just played this harpooner. All right, here you go. You can counter one. Uh, four, eight. Nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so I was gonna, you know, make them have the counter spells, which they, which they would. But at first, I wanted to get the harpooner in play because, you know, attacking them and killing them and stuff is good. All right, three and zero. Oh. Ranking up here, four color commands. This deck feels pretty strong. Strong to quite strong. I don't like Assassin's Trophy at all in Standard. Just really don't like it. Like, the the cast downs are in there for, mostly for aggro. Um, I don't think you really need it against 
the control decks and stuff. Giving your opponents lands in standard is bad. <laughs> no, that's Hawkeye. The GG? That's Hawkeye. Looks like we have a mirror match here. Yep, got a mirror. Yo. So do I want I Teferi, Bounce Walker, or Choop, Kill, Walker? Choop, Kill, Walker would keep the pressure going. Yeah, I think I go Choop, Kill, Walker. Together is finished. <laughs> Stop. Let us have a storied battle worth be telling. No tale should be discarded. Stand by. You need to take a time out. Blech. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being your life. You want to see puppy? Hold that thought. Excellent time. I've got it. I touched Tamio instead of attacking her um, so that we could start pressuring their because it's that's a lot of loyalty and like basically a lot of life that they would gain by having Tamio by me not dealing the six damage to Tamio. Where's my command? Here we go. No. Trust me, you'll thank me later. This might be a bad idea. And all the Tamios.
will not be my final parting. But Tammy had six loyalty. She ticked up. As far as I know. Or no, I guess she did. She did tick down, didn't she? So she's only at two? Oh, I, in my mind, I was just thinking that she ticked up. You know, just in my mind. But you're right. No, because she grabbed the Wild Growth Walker back. So no, yeah, it would have made sense just to attack her and not tuck her. I have learned much from my ancestors. Okay, well, they have a command now. And suddenly I'm dead. Hold that thought. Can I draw a command? No. Dueling you will be excellent research. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Let's try this. I already have a Teferi Time Raveler in my graveyard. Hmm. Seen half the deck, but I haven't seen a command. I have become too involved with my work. And even though it looks like I'm ahead. I'm really not. Command's just gonna... Well, let's see. Command gets Jade Light, Soren, Tamio, and Teferi. Oh, and more Jade Lights, and... Ugh. Yeah, Command's gonna kill me. Need a Tristani for the mirror. Y'all want to see puppy? All right. Our opponent's thinking here. I'll go grab puppy. Another command. Seek and find. All right, where is a command? Puppy. Okay. So now we got we have our command. Um one, two, three, four. Alright, so we have six and three, so we can cast Jade Light and have command still. Tuck Tamio. Not so fast. Ugh. I have the arc bow. We got unlucky against Mono Red. We lost um, twice to Mono Red. So, of course, we have instant speed command, so we're like keeping them from being able to command because then we can just command in response. Hmm. 
Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. To the library! Is it just gonna be who mills out? All right, so they have a, a Wild Growth Walker, a Jade Light, a Soren. I have a Vraska and a Jade Light. I will have revenge for House Okay, so what are we doing now? Trust me, I have a plan. Start killing some stuff. Today's your lucky day. I know my responsibility. Here goes nothing. Attack. Let's attack, puppy. Let's attack. We're gonna have instant speed command again. Like basically having Teferi is like really important here of having the instant speed commands. We'll get the command back. The past is never um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Play this. Uh, I don't even really want to tick Teferi up. Tick up on you. Just end turn. Yeah, because instant speed command is just is just brutal. Because you know our opponent's a sorcery speed, so if they ever try to cast it, we just cast ours in response and take all the stuff. But of course, they they were at like four life at that point. So that's like the, the key part about Teferi in this. So I'm only playing one Elder spell. Most people play multiple Elder spells. So that's kind of brutal. Um... I guess Bond of Flourishing is the worst card, I guess. So Narset only stops Lil Teferi and Big Teferi, and that's like it. The best, the best of you. Good girl, puppy. Good girl.
Arqua did okay. We just we just lost the two mono red decks, which usually wouldn't wouldn't lose to mono red at all. But you know, five matches is is a you know is a low number. But we were just 0-2 against mono red, and that's that's an anomaly. <laughs> this is game two. That's why I said same opponent. This is game two. That's why. That was game one. All right. Well, I don't want my. Well, I don't want to just play Wild Growth Walker. Then it gets to Fairy Bounced. Let's definitely play Branch Walker. I'm going to have to go to discard. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Hmm. Choop. Puppy, you great. I got this. No, I am not making this up as I go. I know, because you you got this, right? You said you got this. Alright. Alright, so that's puppy. She's just so shy. Alright, I'll go I'll go put you back in the living room. You can go back to the living room. Here, say bye to everybody though, puppy. Bye. Say bye. You know what? I'm All not right, that's puppy. Yet. He's a good puppy. All right, here you go. Sorry, go ahead. I've got go ahead. time. You can go. Yeah. All right, so opponent just went to fairy tick up. I need more land drops. Land drops are like the most important thing. I need more of those. I've got it. That's how it was meant to happen. Keep up the pace. <laughs> yeah, I need to get I need to get a puppy emote. You're welcome, Jelly Tug. Puppy is that's puppy's name is puppy. That's her name. Puppy. Um I'm planning on getting like two puppy emotes, like a regular like puppy emote. And then also um, you know, like a regular puppy emote, like, like kind of like a regular Hawkeye emote. And then also like a, a rank up pup. Um, you know, it's so like something that says like rank up and then has pup. And so whenever, whenever everybody Sorry, ranks up, they can have the rank up pup an excellent emote. For my study. I think you will find my note. Dang, they they got to command first. Ooh. Let's try this. We need to draw land. Land? Oh yeah. 
We doing it. We doing it. Here goes nothing. Hmm. All right, so if I play this, then one, two, okay, just everything, everything dies. I don't need to get that. We'll just play Massacre Girl and Tamiyo. Let us have a story battle worth retelling. The storied past holds our future. Let's skip to the good part. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. Yeah, we've been playing a mirror here. We got game one. Um Game two not necessarily looking spectacular for us. I'll protect you. It's possible our opponent doesn't have. Possibly they don't have another command, so I can like contempt this Tamio. Seek and find. We have an elder spell in our deck. Dang. Didn't find it. All I can hear. All right, Storm, take care. No time for a break. I've done the hero thing before. Ah, uh, I thought that was Elder Spell. Um, gosh, I. Can I be so greedy and just have one of my top two cards be a land? I'm dead if it's not. But I, I'm i already just running down. Okay. We got a land. Not dead. I follow the tracks of the wise. It's only a matter of time. Trust me, I have a plan. Well, 
which one you want. <laughs> Alright, one dread horde down. I am Tamio. It is an honor to meet you. No tail should be discarded. Well, congratulations. Way to be Tamio. Oh, some attacking? Oh. No, dang. It. No, I haven't tested the Phoenix Licks list that Ado. No, I I don't play much Phoenix myself. It's not. No, not my not this up as I best go. deck. Okay, so I got 23 life. So we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17. Seventeen. I'll play eighteen, nineteen. Yeah, why not? We use more mana always. All right, nineteen. Sure, just just library it. That's fine. It's good enough. I have learned much from my ancestors. Oh, I just realized my opponent. My opponent did not have to, they did not have Teferi in play. Three mana Teferi, so I could have waited till their turn. I could have done instant speed. Yeah, these mirrors are, are something else. All right, so they're at 25, we're at 30 as far as cards in library. Go. <laughs> All right, so human, have a good day. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure if War Boss. I mean, if they had War Boss in the sideboard and they were 8 0, I, I, I would be hard pressed to just automatically say that Sahili would be better. They definitely had. They had something in mind that they wanted those War Bosses for. For, for sure. Of course, I should have played Overgrown Tomb this last turn. Have I not seen any duresses yet in my half the deck? No. So that could be something I could tick up Tamiya, look for duress. Ooh. Hero of Dominaria. That's kind of something you need to command the Dread Horde for. Yeah, or even, even Elder Spell. Thank me later. Perfect. This is hard. Never mind, not perfect. I will not stand for such violence. Not perfect anymore. Fair Wait, that thing well. just gets the minus eight? Oh, because the elder spell? Here we go. Crap. I really 
We should have seen that coming. Yeah, you can, you can, Blue Sky. I forgot Elder Spell had that text on it too. I forgot about that text. Uh, maybe we do need two of those in the sideboard. That is gross. Let's see. I'm just try to kill our opponent, I guess. I mean, Masker Girl, though. You won't see the end coming, and what can I say? Death is cheap. Oh, really? Now I can't play Teferi? Uh, I guess I, I can tap the Paradise Druid. If I'm gonna pat. If I'm gonna do that. I'll go play the other Teferi. Sorry I'm late. Let's take it back. Only time will tell. So they most likely need to mask her girl? Maybe not. Okay. So they do mask her girl. So now they they don't have the mana to command. Also. <laughs> yeah, we're playing all the colors today. Wait, what did they just minus for the command or the te the teferi? This isn't hurry. Dang, I gets my other black source. All right, well we need to draw this a black source. My worst defeat. That's more like Whoa! it. Whoa, Gatsby with the big time cheer! Holy smokes, that is right. And welcome back, Orasonic, as well. All right, my computer is getting a little laggy here with all this hype. It was probably going to die anyway. Hmm. Didn't find Black Source. <clears throat> wow! Thank you so much, Gatsby. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much, Gatsby. And Orisonic with the 15th month in a row for our 15th sub. That worked out very well. Wow. All these, everybody's getting tons of hype in chat. Thank you so much, Gatsby. And Chris joining in on the hype also. Thanks, Chris. Okay. So, I need the Wild Growth Walkers. So, so I kind of kind of found that out during that that game. The life from the Wild Growth Walkers is super important. Um, I think maybe Choops more important on the play. Yeah, maybe Choops more important on the play here. Maybe we'll just play one tube. Okay. Yeah, we're just going to play one tube. <clears throat> and yeah, thank you, Orisonic. Thank you, Chris. I don't really like Masker Girl in the matchup. I mean, it's obviously it's great, but my opponent's playing one. I can get theirs kind of thing. All 
right, good. Tamio, command, and duress. I mean, I could just take their duress. They get to Tamio. Yeah, I just take their duress. They Tamio, I can tuck Tamio. Or I, I play Teferi afterwards. Basically, I'm going to be able to command the Dreadhorde first. <clears throat> I guess I may not have the lands. Let us see if your talent to the library. Well, they can fill the graveyard, I'll command. Perfect. Let's skip to the good part. That'd be nice if they play another planeswalker and I get to destroy two planeswalkers and then ultimate to fairy. That's that's the dream. The storied past holds our future. Lame. Lame. They have a Teferi to tuck mine. Oh my gosh, the hype is not done yet. Everybody's getting subs. Santa Gatsby is here. Everybody keep this hype go, Gatsby, thank you so much. Let's get to 36 subs on the day. I think you will find my notes helpful. Thank you, Gatsby. Wow. You're so amazing. So if you're a new if you're a new subscriber that just got a gifted sub from Gatsby there, I hope you are putting your hype votes in the chat. So Killis, what do you mean by everybody seems to be splashing green again? What do you think about that? Like what do you What do you mean everybody's splashing green again? Yeah. Okay. So I think we have... Later. Or well, we don't have this one, but... We're going to be able to ult to fairy at least. Oh, everybody's playing green cards again? Just in, in general? Time is much more malleable than people think. Right on schedule. Uh, I'm gonna be dead though. Dang it.
I guess I'm gonna be dead. So yeah, I would have been able to Elder Spell and, and kill both of those in Ultimate. But I just die. So I just can't do that. You need to slow down. It's unfortunate. We'll be drawing another Teferi in two draws though. Maybe we can do it again then. You know what? I'm not done. <laughs> and then Orasonic giving that that gifted sub out to Blue Sky as well. Thanks, Santa Sonic. Yeah, that line that line was my only out, but I just didn't I didn't like that line. You know, that was not it was not something I liked. I wanted to be able to Elder Spell Ultimate, but you know, we, we don't have infinite life. I follow the tracks of the wise. Alright, so learn my lesson here with my my turn one, or like not my turn one, but earlier in the game. This is where I really messed up. Me Earlier in the game, I duressed away their duress. Because I was going to be able to handle Tamiyo with, like, I had my Elder Spell. I was going to be able to command first. I was feeling okay. But then, of course, I didn't really consider, like, that they just played Tamiyo and grabbed, grabbed back duress and, and so on. But they also drew another duress. And it's just, you know, it's been, it's been quite downhill. But... should leave before I make you disappear. Yeah, it's still this is lethal here. Teferi tucks this wild growth walker, that's seven right there. So I should have taken Tamio, let them duress away one spell, but the Tamio's gone. I was thinking the Tamio was gonna take up and, and fill their graveyard for my cause I was gonna be able to command first. But they drew another duress, had double duress for both my commands, and that was that was the killer. Whoops, wrong way. Three one. <laughs> okay, let me let me reset this. As you see, it's it's just like everything's kind of lagging quite a bit after that really long match. There. That's what happens, like the memory leaks happen after like the really long matches like that. <laughs> yeah, that was quite the train there. The sub armada. <laughs> Cassie's making their own hype. All right. We're three and one. Last match here with four color command. Hopefully not another mirror. Um, maybe I need another elder spell in the sideboard though. <laughs> yeah, I gotta open like a booster box. Oh yeah, I should open. Some yeah, I need to open up some packs. The Armada hype boats. With playing the Overgrown Tomb here, it does mean that I'm not going to be able to ferry next turn. Dang it, is this an, just another mirror match? And I didn't put the Elder Spell in? Okay, good. Not a mirror match. Phew. Uh, this does turn into a Planeswalker. That's not so bad. It does help me find like Tamiyo or Teferi. I'll take it. Oh, Beacon does make two. Right, never mind. Yeah, never mind. I would have been able to play Teferi. 
Never mind, check that. Casualties of war. Alright, so this is the... Pity we couldn't have been allies. This is like the Kefnet list. Bunch of Kefnets and Tamios. So we got another, got a Tamio mirror here. Yeah, Elder Spell has gotten a lot better now. People are playing a whole lot more Planeswalkers. Like, that's that's what people are doing. So, yeah, Elder Spell is just getting better and better. So, they're going to have a bunch of Hydroid Crisis, Kefnet. Kefnet, not so good against Teferi. I mean, it's, it's okay. It's just, Trust me. You'll thank me. That's more like you it. know, it has the Reflector Mage test there. An unfortunate casualty. And I'll just... Hey, Daft Square, gifting out the sub. Santa Daft Square getting in on it. So, welcome, Ian Moore. Sub 38. So right now we are at 9 out of 20 sub goals. Before today. Sorry. Before today we were at 9 out of 20 sub goals to another sub battle stream. And now today we've hit three three of them. So we're at 12 out of, 12 out of 20. Two subs away from the 13th here. I am no longer sponsored, right, Vale? No, my command the dread horde. No, that was my master plan. So I was sacri sacrificing my own permanence. I was gonna get that back. So they're coming back up on this Kefnet. Ooh, that other card they really like though. They want to keep it. Whoa! <laughs> Gas me with the donation too! Despite crushing us in sub day, chat loves you, Todd. Thanks for all you do for our community. Everybody, let's keep this hype going. Wow. Gatsby's in the giving mood. Here. Thank you, Gatsby. All right, let's see. We're attacking for two. And we can Teferi plus Tamio. Oh, Frilled Mystic. I should have Teferi'd first. Dang it, I forgot about Frilled Mystic. I wasn't really thinking. Ah, I should have Teferi'd first. And Gassy with the tier three sub. Ah, that got my attention. <laughs> I just can't. I can't stop smiling right now. Thank, thank you, Gassy. All right. Well, I played that awful against Frilled Mystic. I just wasn't really thinking about Frilled Mystic. I really needed to play Teferi first. 
Do they did they get rid of the Kefnet? Or I guess they just draw Kefnet and it doesn't show us? They should have Kefnet in their hand, right? Like where else would this Kefnet be except for in their hand? Which means if they have Kefnet in their hand and they're not playing it, then they have to have another Frilled Mystic. Right, definitely feels like another Frilled Mystic in hand. All right, so there's the Kefnet. Hmm. I need to look at auto tap. Dang it. I really need to look at auto tap. Auto tap messing me up. So the plan here was to minus and grab Lil to Fairy and have Lil to Fairy bounce Kefnet and then keep them from frilled mysticking. But I can't I can't cast that. I think you will find my notes helpful. is expendable except me no uh we have the feather deck is up next i haven't i haven't tried it out yet hey what's up bakers i said don't do this often but it's worth it for him and our community oh thanks gatsby My scrolls. And three of my little Teferis are gone. Okay, so I guess they don't have a Frilled Mystic. Alright, let's get... Duressin. I got Bond. We're not really under duress quickly where we need that. So it's basically what do I want for the last card? Do I want the Narset? Or do I want a Harpooner? Or a Finale of Eternity? Contempt. I think I'm at Contempt. Yeah, let's go Contempt. Play a bunch of Tamios. Yep, Puppy's name is Puppy. I'll just take this. They, they're they a discard deck, right? So, like, we're probably going to have to discard a bunch of stuff. So, we got our, our land drops, the good mana. Um, and so, even if we have to discard some stuff, you know, like, we got good mana. We can keep playing. Like, we can play off the top. That's important. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'll take a little Teferi. Hey, James getting in on the action. Welcome to the channel, James. You would make an excellent informant for Seek and Find. Thanks for the sub there. Yeah, with Thought Erasure plus Duress being so popular, I just start keeping any hand with four plus lands that the card you'll draw will most likely get discarded anyway, right? That's like, why mulligan to like a two lander and it was, your whole hand will go away? I didn't see what they ticked up on, but it wasn't Krasis or Duress, it looks like. Trust me, I have a plan. Oh, violence is impolite. No, I don't feel any pressure playing it like Mythic Rank here. It's, if we lose, we lose. We win, we win. Whatever. Tyrant Scorn? Ah. I guess they want to kill my Jade Light Ranger. Sure. Those who own your hmm. prowess. I think these are basically their only two Planeswalkers. Sorry, I'm late. Do I even tuck Tamio? Just minus Narset, grab Tamio back. Hurry! Right. Let's try this. So we have Wild Growth Walker, Jade Light Ranger. Man, that's it. They just basically took out all these per all their permanents. Now they got these wakas. Wow. Casualties of war. That'll destroy a planeswalker. Which is bad, but the bad the real bad part is that they're destroying a land also. I really should have seen that coming. So that I don't get to just command the next turn. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. No, I am not making this up as I go. All right, I need to talk with the fairy. At least tuck the Narset. Valoraxial, all aboard the USS Hype. This is for the Tezzeret deck. Let's see what you got. All right. Time to build a Tezzeret deck. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Thank you so much for that donation, Valoraxial. Where are all my Hype boats? Where are the foil ones? There. There we go. There's the foil ones. the tracks of the wise. To rebuy casualties of war. All right, you got me this game. Naya is the color combination. Maybe I take Choop out. Yeah. Yeah, so now is the color combination red, green, and white. All right, looks like we'll have turn one duress here. And then turn two branch walker. Need land drops and planeswalkers. Land drops first, preferably. There we go, that's a good one.
Getting rid of that Casualties of War. That card is mean. Sure, one of my two commands goes away, but whatever. I'd like to draw Teferi Time Waster. Or Tamio. Okay, or Jade Light Ranger. No, 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 I haven't changed anything since the last time I played it. 619. Damio. What am I looking for? To the library. I guess just to fairy time waster, I guess. I guess I could have played the the beacon and gained a life. If that's going to matter. The opponent basically has to keep this frilled mystic up like this whole time. I think you will find my notes helpful. Because if they don't, then I get to command the Dread Horde. I have learned much from my ancestors. <laughs> There's, I don't really need to let my opponent counter the Teferi because I have command. Because. Instead, I can just, like, basically make them never be able to tap their mana and just, you know, never let them get to tap their mana there. There, I'll throw the Jade Light out there. If they want to counter the Jade Light, then I'll have the Teferi that will resolve, and then they don't get to counter command. And they're just kind of dead. So, yeah, this deck is awesome. This deck's just really powerful. Um, I think I need another Elder Spell because of mirrors. We just lost the mirror match. That was our our one loss was the mirror match. Where we lost to Elder Spell game 2. Masker Girl just doesn't seem very good. Like basically I just want Masker Girl against Mono White and like that's kind of it. Uh Finale of Eternity, maybe we don't need all those. Yeah, I could probably trim one Finale. We probably don't need two of those. There we go. That that can be another Elder Spell. I kind of like diversifying these things, though. But Elder Spell is incredible. Need another one of those. Okay, so that's four color command. Yeah, this is uh, as we talked about at the beginning of the video. Um, this is basically the evolution of Soul Tide mid range, uh, kind of just morphing into a much like Soul Tide from last format, morphing into a much more powerful deck. With these four ofs from the new format, Command the Dread Horde, Tamio, Collector of Tales, and Teferi, Time Raveler. Like, Teferi in this deck is, like, this is just the new Reflector Mage, as we've talked about, that just just plays such good defense um, and allows you to get to the late game. And then Command the Dread Horde is, is your Rally the Ancestors that just, you know, just goes way over the top and... <clears throat> um, 
really puts like games that are kind of close or even you a little behind puts you way ahead. Um, and then Tamio sets up your sets up your rally. This is your Jace Friends prodigy. This you know gets to loot or whatever. You know it sets up your rally basically sets up your command the dread horde and then also gets to return your command the dread horde um, and everything and and it also helps you dig for these others for like these for your explore creatures and everything. Thanks, James. So yeah, this is this is like the four color rally. Um, this deck's really strong. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, this is this is going to be one to start seeing. Like this, I I feel like this is going to start warping the format. Honestly, we're I think we're going to start seeing more elder spells and stuff. I don't I don't know exactly what, but I think this deck's going to start warping the format. This one's really good. All right, if you are watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, go ahead and try this deck out right away. I think the weakest card in like the main is probably the Bond of Flourishings, but this really helps you against aggro, and, and it helps you you know find like your different Planeswalkers and stuff. But this could be something different for sure. Uh, I, I basically like the sideboard. I mean, the sideboard is just you know, a whole lot of one-ofs and everything. Cast downs are mostly for aggro. I kind of like what we have going on in the sideboard. But we'll we'll see if like bond of flourishing can be something else. <clears throat> but yeah, if you were watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Um, thank you so thank you so much for watching. I hope you hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. But that's it for four color command.